Hi everyone, welcome to Friday channel. I'm Friday, and today I will bring you our new arrival, the Cerebroni Q Hundred Thirty Eight of Axis Guiding Scope. Uh, this is the guiding scope body with two adapter next to it. One is our M54 and one for M48, and also two adapter are also included. One for converting M54 to M42, and the other for converting M48 to M42. The Starboni 238 M54, M48, and M42 adapters allow for easy connection to most cameras and telescopes without the need for additional adapters. Also. We also included some wrenches and several crews. Also, um, next to it is our we'll take a look at the guidance itself. This is an off-axis guidance scope with a body thickness of 12.5 mm. There is a screw mounted section on the body that adds 4 mm to the thickness, which can be secured directly with screws. Before installation, you will either install a filter drawer or modularized filter wheel. The W9184 the module currently uses the SV226P filter drawer with an M54 mount and the SC226 filter drawer with an M42 mount has mounting holes. This module is 21mm thick and features an M24 mount, making it comfortable with our cameras. This latest module is expected to be released with OAG at the end of our November. During installation, you must first remove the adapter rings to align the screw holes for smooth installation of the future drawer. If the guide scope is installed first, the screw holes can be blocked, preventing the future drawer from being installed. This is an important installation tip. Uh, the future drawer is 21mm thick and secured with M2.5 screws. During installation, pay attention to the drawer's orientation. It must be placed facing outer world. Otherwise, it will be slide properly. And after aligning the holes, initially secure one screw and adjust it until it is fully secured. This process can be challenging and requires patience. After the future drawer is installed and tightened, the M48 mount ring is installed and two .5 screws are used to secure it. With a total of six screw holes. After installation, let me show. After installation, we can also have a look at the list of it. Yeah, after installation, the guide scope main body is 6.5 mm thick, and with the future drawer 25 mm, the total thickness is 6.5 mm. When paired with our Cerboni 40,000 cc camera, the fringe focal distance of 7.5 mm, and the total back focus is 55 mm, meeting standard back focus requirements. Uh, please attention, honey. Uh, the older SV226 W9184A module has 1mm back focus difference and is therefore not compatible. The guidance camera here uh, is mounted on one end of the guide scope. Let me show you how to look if we can mount here. And we fasten here. The end of our guidance scope, while this pressing is locked on the other, on the, other the large processor nearly is our work. Eight by 14, 102 mm square, provides a wider field of view and making gadget easier. The pricing extracts a beam of light from above the adapter and projects it onto the guide camera for guiding. Since this beam is drawn from the main optical axis and aligned with the primary scope's optical axis, no additional guide scope or bracket is required. Um, we can save equipment and reducing costs. The guide scope is equipped with a focus wheel with approximately 10 mm of travel. It can be used with the SV90C guide camera. Since many users already own an SV90C, this product is not included in our package. If you need to purchase it, you can order it separately. So that is our new arrival here. If you have any question, please tell me in our comment area. See you next time.